Namaste beautiful yogis. Today I am going to be speaking about the new vegan products, new exciting vegan products and trends on the vegan in the vegan world, in the healthy actually eating world for 2018-2019. I just came back from Expo West, Natural Product Expo West. Um, and I have my review everything that's happening in the natural living world when it comes to products. Natural Expo West is the biggest natural product expo in America and either the biggest in the world or it's one of the biggest in the world. Maybe there is a big one in Asia as well. It's massive. It's just massive and every company goes there. The established big companies that we all know, the healthy companies, the vegan companies go there. But also new and upcoming companies, companies that are trying to make it on the market are there as well, trying to strike a deal with Whole Foods or with Sprouts. And um, It's just a very exciting event because every year you can see the changes that are happening in the vegan world. And I think this year has been the most change I have seen as far as I new direction um, many years ago when it uh, seven years ago when I uh, went for the first time or eight years ago when I went for the first time the healthy and vegan stuff was literally just nut and fruit bars and maybe raw chocolate and superfoods it was pretty unexciting and it was not healthy it was just fatty and it wasn't unhealthy but it wasn't phenomenal now, not that I, uh, not that products are that healthy. The reason why I love products is because I personally eat apples and cabbage as a staple, and those things are just things that I'm glad are out there, and we have them very on occasion. But not everybody eats apples and cabbage or bananas and cauliflower, not together. <laughs> Some people do need to transition or some people do need amazing food so that they don't feel deprived on a vegan diet. So I'm glad that there is those options. And also it means that the vegan uh, world is growing. Many years ago when I uh, was vegan, um, I lived in Vegas and there wasn't any yogurt, any ch vegan cheese. There was nothing. You just literally ate fruit and maybe steamed rice. And there was tofu, I think. Uh, but there wasn't much maybe tofurkey existed already but there wasn't yogurts and things that are out there now and if you have a craving you, you can have that thing that day another reason why i like the expo is because i've turned a lot of you to a plant-based diet and i want to give you options and show you that it's becoming more and more uh, easy to be vegan besides the other options that i always talk about which is just eating fruits and veggies and beans and grains and nuts because I want everybody to feel good and I also I want to kind of work for the animals <laughs> that's my secret mission also I want everybody to be healthy and feel good but also I want to see the end of certain practices in um, that that are still there that we use for uh, raising farm animals and so forth let's let's keep it fun and exciting. So this year there were uh, trends that I definitely noticed. One of them was um, everything turmeric. Everything was flavored with turmeric, golden lattes, golden sauerkraut, uh, golden juices, um, chips. It was just in many products that you would not typically see turmeric. It was in those products and I did like it because it was geared towards the American palate so the turmeric was not overpowering it was perfectly spiced and it was actually almost it was making things actually better because it was enough of it and usually those products also had black pepper so that the turmeric is more potent and I'll tell you my favorite turmeric latte brands uh, from the expo but let me tell you the other trends probiotics everything literally probiotics were in uh, tortilla chips in veggie chips in drinks in soda in juice everything was probiotic uh, based that was a definite trend i'm sure in like bars and things and so forth it was just in everything um lots of sauerkraut and so forth and um more more veggie chips than i've noticed before maybe i was not paying attention before but there was a lot of 
beet chips, even oil free ones, and purple sweet potato chips, and things like this. It was, uh, I think it's a good trend for those of you that love chips and dry crunchy fried things. That's definitely better. I'm not a chips person. They're, de they're dehydrated or devoid of water and stuff. So it's not like a staple that you should be on. But if you must have your chips, I think it's a good trend. And some of them weren't very salty at all, just a touch to bring up the sweetness or the flavor or whatever. And a definite trend was more whole food ingredients on the labels, which I love that. Things are getting shorter, the ingredients list, and uh, companies are cleaning up their ingredients list. One of the companies that my friend was buzzing about that I didn't get to see, but I always buy their milks, is so delicious. Apparently their new line of milks is phenomenal and very clean ingredients. So we'll see that soon on the market. Now, most of the things that I'm going to talk about have not hit the markets yet. So you're going to see them very soon on the markets. Look out for them. And also the small companies. If you feel passionate about some of the small companies I'll, talk, I'll just mention or I loved, just request them at your uh, retailer, at your local Whole food. Uh, Plan, uh, healthy store because you're gonna be helping out those companies um, a lot of these companies are trying to make it and as you know the food market is brutal so I would love to see some of those people make it I've seen some people make it like Miyoko's vegan kitchen she has the most phenomenal gourmet style French style cheeses and I remember when we first discovered her she was still not at all big she made it that year she was discovered that year by others but when we went with my friend to the expo and we tasted her cheeses our jaws dropped we couldn't believe how far vegan cheese has come she ages the cheese the french way she wraps it in domas uh, grape leaves um, coats it with uh, French black ash, etc. It's a very gourmet cheese, and for those of you that love cheese, that's an absolute revelation. And vegan cheese has come a long way. If you're a cheese lover, give your palate time to clean up the old flavor buds, and you will not feel deprived. You have vegan options, and after a while, cheese I, I was definitely raised on dairy. I love yogurt and cheese and feta cheese. Now I th I can't think of anything more gross than in the milk solidified of a massive cow. My friend is a microbiology student and we were discussing some new uh, study that she just studied in school. Uh, they did a study on um, cow milk and how it affects our hormones or our DNA. So basically, um, cow milk has RNA molecules in it, uh, which um, plants and all milk and uh, products have. But the cow milk RNA is so similar to the human RNA, and RNA is what switches hormone uh, DNA on and off. It was so similar to uh, the human one that it could switch human DNA on and off, which is a crazy gamble to risk because what gene is it going to turn on and off in your body it's just crazy um and also um a cow milk obviously is for a baby cow which needs to become 600 pounds in one year so no one needs that type of weight gain as a small human we're not 600 pounds and we shouldn't be so it's just i feel like i'm doing you service if, you, if by telling you about these products basically that's my uh, mission it's not uh, I have been, sometimes I've been blamed about reporting on Expo West, that is products, that is junk food, packaged food. I understand that I eat fruits and veggies, but I, not everybody eats fruits and veggies. My family likes product, certain products, we buy certain products. I want to also spread the word about vegan products and also I want to I wanna be part of that expansion and I want to report on it and I don't... Um, benefit in any monetary way from this but i benefit because i see the world changing so that's my mission i'm not sponsored uh, about any of the products uh, or the expo this is my own <laughs> passion uh, so those are the trends more whole plant ingredients probably turmeric um, now let's start with the most important trend i would guess cheese and there was um, now 
diet cheese is good easy to find they have new mozzarella and cheddar sticks they're good they've cleaned up their ingredients so they're overall good and they melt well in sandwiches follow your heart small good is amazing and the most exciting new cheese i would love to talk about or i got excited about is the feta cheese from view life it was like gold feta cheese a very very good so we're here at Violife, Violife, they have the best feta and those are the cream cheeses, right? Yeah, these are the creams. Alright. We're a fan of your feta cheese. Oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> yes. But the new feta cheese by Violife is to uh, totally a hit. They also had new parmesan. Absolutely, if you're a pasta lover and you must have parmesan, get the vegan version. It was very, very good. Vegan cheeses are not exactly the same as cheese, but it has that satisfaction factor. It's kind of cheesy, smelly, <laughs> stinky, <laughs> and uh, it just has the fatty, rich, it has that flavor profile. So it's a good thing to shift towards. Uh, to get your palate used to. I promise after a while you, you will not crave cheese. Just give it time and your body will thank you because especially women, men too, but women, your periods will be magical uh, if you remove dairy and eggs and uh, meat from your diet. Just, uh, and especially dairy because it's from a reproductive, it's, it's, it's just a hormonal bond. It really can mess up. It can create all kinds of problems with cysts and endometriosis which also is very linked to um, to the fat in the diet and the meat and also um, PCOS polycystic ovarian syndrome that's again fat from uh, dairy and fat from just plant fats because it, it is a form of diabetes and diabetes is basically too much fat in the diet so um, it's not too much sugar as some will uh, <laughs> let you believe but don't take nutritional advice from your MD from your doctor they're not trained in nutrition they don't understand nutrition um, MDs are great for trauma MDs are great for um, um, some diagnostics even uh, they're good for trauma they're amazing for trauma but they're not very good for degenerative diseases or autoimmune diseases or so forth that's where you have to start looking for um, holistic approach so so you don't suffer for long anyways uh, this is not the subject of the video sorry about this and my baby will wake up soon so I really need to be talking a little faster than this um, but I don't want to sound rushed um, now, I think I covered the cheeses. Is there another cheese? Kite Hill is, is good uh, cream cheese. They had amazing cheeses. Definitely by Miyoko's. Definitely. Uh, amazing. She was there and she was saying that their factories are expanding now because there's such big demand for her cheese, which is amazing because it's a, no funky ingredients. It's based on either cashews. I think, yeah, on cashews and chickpea tofu. So it's not even soy tofu, but the, uh, sorry, chickpea miso. And the miso is that fermented flavor that cheese has. So that's where the fermentation comes from and uh, it's aged properly. It's amazing cheeses. Her new cheeses, sadly, I didn't try them all. I think I tried only one. She had maybe more than six flavors. All right, we're at Miyoko's. Which ones are your new products this year? Uh, the ones in the tubs. Just this tree here? The ones over there. Oh, cool. Okay. Ice. But yeah, we okay. all believe that it is butter. But it's better than any butter you've ever had. I guarantee. Go ahead and try it. Bread and butter. You can't go wrong. Yeah. Do you want some hand in your picture? Yes. <laughs> You're my hand model. <laughs> Alright. Savor. 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 New Miyoko's products. Which one is your favorite? This one and a lot. Sun dried tomato. Uh huh. And this is the Unlocks Your Dreams cream cheese. It's with seaweed. Be advised. It's amazing. I love this one, but it's the only one I tried. So. Oh my god. This is good. It's amazing. This one is amazing. Wow, this is so exciting. Everything. Her new cheeses, sadly I didn't try them all. I think I tried only one. She had maybe more than six flavors. Uh, and mozzarella. 
and butter that's apparently just like butter but her cheeses were very good and everybody was in like flooding over to the stand there it was just you know get that cheese if you want cheese vegan cheese um and also the real life uh, parmesan and feta phenomenal uh, they also their small good is amazing their cheddar is good for sandwiches and for melted uh, american style cheese uh, now yogurt i love yogurt and i used to think that that's the one thing i will forever miss in my diet i no longer miss it because as i said my taste but changed and i actually don't find their stuff very uh, exciting and fermentation is okay here and there to have but we're better off with fresh food because fermentation is a form of protein so i like the the fermented trend but i'm not buying into like no sugar and all of that on the contrary we need sugar and we need fresh um fresh uh, foods anyways um i'll talk about this in a different video if you want uh, to talk about yoga diet and all of that and healthy stuff uh, we'll talk about it in a different video but this is just the trends um so the new uh you know follow your heart is coming up with uh, yogurt that's amazing they're, they had more than 10 flavors uh, uh key lime black cherry strawberry the regular flavors pineapple they were really good uh, very good and not too high in the fattiness uh kite hill is my baby used to love it a lot she doesn't eat yogurt right now in this period because she ate yogurt for a while a lot my partner kite hill is their favorite it's too fatty for me it's almost 200 calories per one little cup so to me that's a little too much from fat and sugar calories then i would love to i don't mind calories from whole plants but when it's uh, packaged food i just kind of try to not go for the super caloric items because that would mean sugar mostly and fat mm. but kai Hill is good um my favorite is flax karma good karma the flax uh yogurt and they have um, new formulations with coconut and also they have uh, it's only coconut one flax and coconut and only coconut the only coconut one rich and phenomenal like cream amazing it's probably very rich and caloric but uh, it was amazing so i actually recommend it just for the taste that was my favorite oh and there is one new company that they said they will be everywhere in the stores yuga y o o g a a coconut with chia it was really good and one uh, container was 140 calories so a little lower on the fat and the fat is coming from um whole chia so that's good it's the anti-inflammatory fats the omega trees so that one i would definitely be buying they had really good flavors i only tried the yogurt one uh, the um, vanilla one which was good but i would probably be buying the other flavors the chocolate and so forth uh plant milks plant milks this is something i'm passionate about because i just love a foamy latte and i used to make my own milk and i still will be making a lot of my own milks but there is some exciting news in the plant milk world and one of them is there is peanut milk now which tasted just like peanuts if you have a peanut craving or if you're a peanut person you would love this for for anything for sweet drinks for soups that are kind of more peanut flavored it was phenomenal hot new product walnut milk what do you think elmhurst well let me tell you yeah let's see yeah. oh my god this is out of this world this tastes like Walnuts, but milky and creamy. Yeah, and I tried the peanuts. Really good. Wow, love it. This is favorite of mine. I can have this in my anything, everything, every day, yeah. all the time. Elmhurst. Cheers. Uh, there was peanut chocolate which i didn't try uh there was walnut which my friend tried and she said it was amazing and the hazelnut milks from different companies also phenomenal i'm so excited about this is my if I, I was into trendy stuff i would be wanting to see the everything hazelnut and everything peanut trend 
um, everything hazelnut just because in America we don't get a lot of hazelnut flavored things we just don't it's not a popular thing and I love hazelnut things speaking of which I'm gonna transition into the next um, thing chocolate uh, bars and chocolate I did not try any but two one chocolate bar and one milk vegan chocolate and just because they were European and they were hazelnut chocolates and they were both small companies that are yet not in America so if you're a European you can find them in the UK and chocolate bar was Swiss bar, uh, yeah, Swiss and, uh, the, and the candy bar was from UK and their absolute favorite I literally I hardly ever crave chocolate and I have not ever found an American chocolate that I like so I even less crave it I've bought every bar uh, for my mom and for me and I, I, can't, I can't even finish the bars they're just not that thing that I want and it's chocolate and hazelnuts I don't know if it's an emotional attachment to this or it's that good but no it's that good it's we're just having a conversation how hard it is to find good chocolate in the states yes the, we we've found the Swiss chocolate here vegan chocolate and it was out of this world <laughs> so yeah like, where are you from yeah it's like oh Switzerland so yeah we just thought we found a good American for the manufacturer so yes Buying it. I mean, it's okay. Yeah, so we kept saying we gotta go back to Rhythm 108, Rhythm 108, because this literally these two products, Sweet and Salty Almond and Hazelnut Praline, are the best. best of the expo, yeah, best of the sweets. <laughs> So Rhythm 108, oh, yeah. Hi there. we're just making a, a little video. Where do you guys carry this line? So they are available in the UK. Only? Only in the UK, uh, not yet in the US. Yeah. But we're looking at soon. Sorry? What about other European countries? I'm in Switzerland okay. and um, we are in Netherlands. Okay. Okay. We'll be available in the States. I, I know. So this is my favorite product of the sweet products. Sweet and salty almond rhythm 108 bars. They're ridiculous. What do you think? Amazing. I love yeah. the mm -hmm. And the almond is better. It's unbelievable that there's no milk in this thing. Yeah. It totally tastes like the real thing. Yeah. Hey guys, so one of my favorites this year at the Expo is I think it's an English brand, right? I'm not sure, but it's like super delicious vegan meal. And they have a barista barista version, so let's try it. I got a coffee with the Oakley first espresso. This is chocolate ice cream coffee, which is very good. It's amazing. It's uh, from Sweden. You can find it in UK. They have a barista blend that's out of this world. It's so 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 good if you are trying to substitute milk for uh, plant milk. It's so good. It's coming to the States which I'm so excited about because it makes the best lattes. Um, I tried the skim version and the barista version. The skim version is one gram of fat that um, comes from rapeseed oil but I'm assuming very little oil goes into it and oats uh, into the milk because it's just one gram per serving I would love them to maybe find it mm, maybe, I don't know maybe flax oil I don't know um, 
overall oil is oil uh, but uh, such good tasting milk and um, I'm so glad they have the most beautiful packaging and it just it tastes so good it's uh, very different from the American milks very different and I'm so glad that we can get them in the States now um, um, coconut waters I think this one is one of my favorites and now they have um, new coming flavors which is probiotics and toasted coconut which apparently is a um, typical Asian coconut water and um, this one uh, the girl was explaining I really love this brand it's a uh, taste Nirvana and um, in glass bottles and um, the girl was explaining that actually their facility is the middle of the coconut plantation or the coconut farm and they get a pick of really high quality coconuts and etc so she was explaining why they stand out so much the taste is amazing mm. I shouldn't be drinking this one comes with a shot of espresso in it it's so delicious the plain ones are so delicious this one is with um, I bought it before the expo this one is um, with passion fruit in it it's so good turmeric lattes there was three that I tried and all of them are good the first one is by ginger people this is their turmeric well turmeric shot you just buy a shot of super strong ginger and you <laughs> you take it at once um they had a turmeric latte mix so good I'll include in the beer roll everything and here is one of my favorites it's ginger people turmeric latte and the ingredients are palm sugar elephant ginger extract java turmeric extract what do you think about the flavor uh Ola? let me just make sure it's vegan right? it's the milk in the latte uh we're using soy milk right now soy yeah. vegan. this is soy milk Oh. And then the latte mix is cheers. It's amazing. Yes. It's I love like it. a less flavorful. I mean like less rich chai latte. Yeah. With a bit of a ginger kick to kick, it. Kick, yeah. Like on a cold rainy day like outside. This is it's great. perfect. And it comes in, uh, with little bags inside, right? Yeah, yeah I mean, single serving. Oh, you can also buy it like this in and a yeah. in a tin. Yeah, maybe it's about 756 milligrams of Java turmeric and 2.8 milligrams of curcumin and 1,000 milligrams of almond ginger, which you saw here. It's really it's a functional beverage first versus taste. You know what I mean? I see. So totally. that's that's what our that's how I eat, so I totally know what to do. Okay, so that this is why it's our made favorite. our favorite list, yeah. It's just phenomenal. Yeah. Right. Um, then there was another one that I will also include. Um, Sugar Vita, I kind of considered maybe carrying it on my website. He had some crazy, uh, crazy claims about the sugar. Um, I bought one package actually of the sugar. It is um, the only plant source of B12. I don't know if you're saying that it will raise your um, B12 serum levels. I don't know if that can be true. Uh, I asked why. He said a freak of nature. There is B12 in the sugar because of how it's processed or of the plant. It comes from the Palmyra palm blossoms the sugar itself. It tastes very chocolatey and molassesy, very dark sugar. I I'm kind of tempted to carry it, but we'll see. Utilizing anti-inflammatory and anti-fungal sugar found in nature. Yeah. 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 And it is the only plant source of bioavailable Maybe we should well found in nature. Alright, we're here at Sugar Vita. It's really amazing. Turmeric latte drinks. And the reason why you will not feel hungry for the following five to seven hours from this B12. is because it will instantaneously normalize your blood sugar levels. And can you uh, say something about the B12 in the sugar? Well, it is the only plant source of bioavailable vitamin B12. If you take just five grams daily, after 25 days, your vitamin B12 level, the blood, will we'll increase by at least 60%. And that is because it contains B12? Yes, it is oh. the only plant source of bioavailable vitamin B12 found in nature. And also, can you say a little bit about um, uh, the 
appetite suppressing properties? It doesn't suppress anything. No, it just balances. Because it normalizes okay. your blood sugar levels. I see. It doesn't send you hypo or hypoglycemia. I see. So you don't have the highs and lows. Yeah. Yes. And the reason how it divide does it within the glucuronic compound of sugar beta, mm -hmm. there is a molecule called amino sugars, and yeah, what they do, they attach themselves to insulin receptors in blood. Yeah. At the moment they detect the blood sugar levels either rising or falling, yeah. it instantaneously normalizes them. Yeah. And what's the price point for bag? Uh, Fifteen dollars each. And where are you selling it here in the state? At the moment, uh, we are only selling it from few doctor practices. We used to be in over 6,000 shops in the States in our old packaging. Uh, but because our distributor did the runner on us and uh, oh, no. owing us just over a million dollars. Oh, you need a new distributor? Uh, well, that's what we're looking for. As long as it's not Kehi Unify, we'll I be see. happy with them. Too bad, because this is amazing. It tastes amazing, yes, and right? If you have any, it tastes like chocolate. Yes, and then you, I would actually just use that in my coffee. Yeah. yeah. And, and if you have any friends who go to a bit of either children or adults as a family with autism, down schizophrenia, yeah. this is an absolute lifesaver. Now, Max, can I buy that online? You can buy it online. The best way for you to buy it, you can buy it at the show as long as it's cash. But we have a, a doctor's clinic out of Thousand Oaks uh, called uh, Thousand Oaks Family Wellbeing. They sell it all over the United States of America. Maybe I can carry and we will be able to, so you will be able to purchase it from Amazon uh, on US in about five weeks time. Do you sleep well or do you wake up in the middle of the night? I sleep well. Good. So if you don't sleep, all you do is take a teaspoon 10 minutes before you go to bed at night, you drink it 10 minutes later, you are like a light and you get your 8 hours of an interrupted sleep because it prevents you from going into the external type of glycemia. And if I were you, madam, if you have a clever phone that takes pictures, take picture of your eyes today, take picture in five weeks' time, and provided that you drink 20 grams of this daily, the whites of your eyes will become significantly whiter because it helps your liver to produce glucuronic acid. Alright, I'm gonna wait and buy it on Amazon. And then it's a really high B vitamins, it helps you sleep, it balances it's um there is some Indian research, it balances diabetes, um balances your blood sugar levels. He explained that when you have it for six hours after this your blood sugar is balanced and you don't need to eat or you don't feel like eating because you just have a balanced blood sugar and you sleep really well when you take it because of the mineral profiles and etc. There was crazy claims about the sugar. If you have any pain in your joints or muscles right now, no matter whereabouts in your body, from this three really little samples I will give you, within half an hour the pain will be gone. You can actually start a stop stopwatch. That's why we have over 90% customer return rate. Okay. So, I know okay with the almonds and cashews. Yes. Okay, so this is original. We're serving it hot. Don't make it. It's very hot. So drink it slowly. And the reason why it works, you see, for turmeric to be bioavailable in human body. It's delicious. It's delicious. Slight turmeric, but not overpowering. Yeah. A little bit of milk. Mouth, milk. Milk, yeah. Cash, and, the, cash. and this is the best cashew milk I've ever tried in my Very life. Very mellow, yeah. just slight, nutty flavor. Yeah. It's awesome. Of course. Nice, mild. It's mild flesh. and it's delicious. So yeah. keep your cup. So and if you have any pain. But the same brand had really, really, really delicious um, turmeric latte with ginger and turmeric cardamom latte. Very good. Uh, I think it's only on Amazon, maybe if I decide to carry it, or maybe they'll have it in more places in the US, but they're in the UK. And the third one is a UK company, they're without sugar. Uh, I think theirs was, as far as turmeric latte, is the best. I did like the Pomira sugar addition to the uh, other company, to the Sugar Vida. But the turmeric lattes uh, from the UK company, I'll include their name and everything, was great because there was no sugar added. You can make it yourself kind of not sweet. And um, there was Ceylon cinnamon added to it. And it was really nice flavor profile. And that's, oh, that's with the cocoa. So does it exist in, or do you sell it in other European countries as well? Um, yeah. well, we have a distributor in Malta. This is Salem Cinnamon. Germany, Spain, Germany. Wonder Workshop uh, turmeric brand. There. My sister lives there and I visit quite often. So. Yeah.
Yeah, take your card. It's amazing. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, you're right. I can just take the card instead of it for my cell phone. Nice. It's kind of like one of those like treat package foods that are just luxurious. Um, lots of chips, sweet potato. I think I covered this. Um, um, the European chocolates, I think that's where I left off when my camera died. I have to maybe uh, give them more shout outs because both companies are not represented in the States and they would love to get in the American market. Um, I uh, loved the candy bar was by Rhythm 108. That's the company, maybe find them on their website, maybe request them at, their, uh, at your local grocery store and maybe we can get them to be in the States. Uh, I would love to um, do that and their candy bar was absolutely phenomenal. My favorite sweet thing at the entire, in the entire show. Um, I would, if I have a chocolate craving or a sweet tooth, I would go for that. It was based on, and it was pretty healthy and it tasted so good it was like milk chocolate hazelnuts and it had oats in it so it was so good uh my favorite thing at the expo and let's let's bring them to the states let's request them everywhere let's request them at whole foods and uh, another company was a swiss company with swiss chocolate they had vegan hazelnut chocolate made with hazelnut milk that was creamy milky hazelnutty chocolatey it was the best chocolate Swiss chocolate so you can find it in Europe let's bring it to, to America that will be the only chocolate I would buy the chocolate bar from Rhythm 108 and that chocolate I'll include the brand of the chocolate because I don't remember it and they had coconut one that was just as good as the hazelnut one um, the hazelnut chocolate uh, from Rhythm 108 also had salted almond that was even better than the hazelnut it's just such phenomenal product such phenomenal products uh, we need to bring them I'm getting a little tired here because I got up so early okay ice creams I have to talk about ice creams um, a few years ago when we were going to the expo the ice cream vegan ice cream world was still kind of pathetic and there wasn't enough choices not good not that great ice creams now it's saturated there were very few new companies because the market is already kind of set between so delicious and not more as if you ask me I've heard that Halo Top has vegan ice creams as well. Um, there are other ice creams, of course, but uh, my favorite is Nadamo. And if you're looking for the most kind of uh, ice cream that will blow cow ice cream out of the <laughs> uh, waters, is um, the cashew so delicious one. Get the salted caramel. You will forever be... Uh, Com convert it to uh, vegan ice cream now Nadamu is my favorite they had new flavors uh, strawberry cheesecake cold brew caramel cold brew coffee caramel um, and some chocolate cookies something something just really nice ice creams but my top favorite from theirs is one of their old flavors and it's the birthday cake one I don't even care for birthday cake but the ice cream is so soft in your mouth it's just very like cakey i don't know it's so good i love it it's not a very sweet ice cream so my partner doesn't like it um if you're into like overly sweet ice cream and you don't want to get the one sweet corn syrup that are from ben and jerry and just the regular ice cream companies they have vegan flavors obviously as well get the so delicious cashew based one the cashew based one the other ones are not as good the cashew based one and try the salted caramel they also have double chocolate i think with cookies and they have snickerdoodle they're all good uh, those three but get the salted caramel just to get that experience um what else oh there is a dried fruit brand that i would personally if i'm on the go take or if i need to grab something that's real minimally processed it was apples slices with no oil and infused with other fruits like there was apple with mango oh amazing and apple with cherry tart cherry it was great also there was tart cherry juices that were amazing and love beets love beets has two new things that i'm totally into one is their uh, beet juice it's better than kombucha and i really love getting kombucha uh, so if you're out and about and you just want to get 
kind of a fun drink. The beet juice is just beet juice and ginger. So phenomenally amazing. All right, so that's another favorite of ours. It's just ginger juice and, oh, uh, sorry. Beet juice and beet with ginger. So good. And do you... <laughs> and also, do you know the price point for those uh, bottles at the stores? Uh, they usually sell for four ninety nine. Okay, and their new salsa. And this is so ridiculously good beet salsa. It tastes just like salsa, but it's beets. Man, it's so good. And they had a recipe for date balls made with beets. I will try that. It just sounds so good because you get the. Beat and beats, especially for females before your period. If you're PMSing, if you're just have that, it will it will do miracles for your period. Always get beet juice and beets before your period. That's just a little tip. All right, this this company has to be one of the most important companies I should talk about. It was my friend's favorite. It's a, um, a women-owned company. Uh, still small. I hope they can make it. Um, it's they are going through some struggles to get on the market because the competition is brutal and the food market is brutal uh, but their name is foodies maybe food is vegan is it me painting at every bite it's not a picture it's a video so this is this is Ola's favorite this is her pick yeah her favorite of the, so it's called foodies and it's uh, pumpkin seed based patties and frittatas. So we have corn chipotle. Oh, the banana sweet potato is here. We didn't have that yet. Um, yeah, an Indian curry. And which which is your favorite? Did you try them? Hello. I don't have a favorite. I tried all six flavors that they had yesterday, except for the banana sweet potato. Yeah, I didn't try that. And That's I sweet. Liked them all and I was very surprised. I'll include in the bureau a lot about them because I, I showed a footage from their um, products. I would think one flavor is better than all the rest. Not with this company. They're really good, yeah. Ooh, you. Corn chip so good. It's I mean, we love to eat. Us. So it's all about just like perfecting Might that perfect people. recipe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, my mom is like a mastermind in the kitchen. So. Oh. Your brother. Your brother. My, my mom and my brother. Yeah, my brother is one who does all the developing, but my mom really is just good with the flavor. She's like, all right, I gotta amp it up a little more. We gotta do this. So they are like the perfect team. Yeah. Wow, well, and you do have. Yeah, we everyone that in They had frittatas and patties based on pumpkin seeds and cashew and then the rest of the ingredients was potatoes and vegetables. Yeah, the food, I mean, flavor is cake. Here I have the artichoke burger, yeah, Italian that's herb an artichoke patties. burger, yeah, but it's based on pumpkin seeds, yeah. They're all really amazing. You know, exactly. The I'm too close. Is and then you can kind of have them. I don't know how they do it. Yeah. Yeah. They're good. It's and it's whole plants. Whole foods. But yeah, so it's, it's flavor plus. Yeah. 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 Let's check out the ingredients. Brown rice, cashew nuts, artichoke exactly. hearts. Third ingredient. Onions, olive oil, potato flour, nutritional yeast. Not jeopardized. Tomatoes, vinegar. Cane sugar, clean ingredients. Yeah, it's clean, it's just yeah. amazing. And the flavor is out of the sea. Yeah, they're amazing. This would be my go to comfort food that I will have in my freezer at all times for when life gets busy. So I know I'm still eating healthy. <gasps> That's funny. Have you got to try? I'm having a two. Oh, this is another artichoke burger. Oh, that's artichoke burger line. Yesterday it's different, yeah. yeah. They have a recipe developer who is just. A genius because their flavors were out of this world just if it was Indian patty or dill patty or the frittata or it's just out of this world I'm not a patty person um, I tried them they were great uh, but my friend is a person that's in school very busy works two jobs she doesn't have time to cook she buys those things and she is newer vegan and very picky she's an extremely picky eater which is why we're a good combination because I'm not picky I find everything to be good because I eat apples and say cabbage 
<laughs> and everything is to me it's overstimulation when it's those um, amazing uh, products because there is oil in them and salt and stuff and I love them I mean everything to me is amazing uh, but she's very picky she doesn't like almost anything and she said this was uh, just phenomenal um, the vegan meats if you really want something that tastes like burger I would say I would say, suggest that you try Beyond Burger. It's not the cleanest ingredients, but it tastes like a um, meat patty and it's a good substitute. It's better for you than meat. Um, it's based on pea protein. Um, they had a new sausage. I'm absolutely not into sausages, but um, my friend tried it. I tried it too uh, and she liked it. So they have three flavors new sausages look out for them they're gonna be on the market and if you're looking for such substitutes that would be good i have in my notes here a chameleon cold brew uh, ginger coffee i uh, they just gave it to me because i i was not tasting coffee in the afternoon anymore and um uh, it's so good i it just my eyes closed when i opened it this morning it's um with ginger and it's sweetened and it's sparkling it's I like to brew my coffee, but if I'm out and about and I need kind of to spoil myself with something, this is an Austin based company. I don't know, it was good. Um, it was uh, phenomenal. Uh, speaking of more the junky foods, there is one that kind of it maybe is the winner. I didn't try that much junky, uh, the total junky, junky food. Uh, but there was peanut puffs that tasted like peanuts. And there was a lot of peanut uh, powders, but the peanut puffs. The reason why I wasn't, uh, one thing I would love them to do is to get the oil out of it. They had peanut oil in the product, but nonetheless, it's like, like Cheerios maybe. I've never had Cheerios, but I would imagine it's kind of like those puffed junk foods, but just a little cleaner with peanuts in them. So, uh, and it was ba based on navy beans and uh, such ingredients, so it's a little more protein from beans. So way healthier, still processed food, but if you're looking sometimes to kind of spoil yourself with something kind of healthier and that tastes just like peanuts, well, uh, those peanut puffs, I will include them in the video uh, with the company name and everything. Those were amazing. Let's see if I'm missing something out. The, all the kombucha brands were amazing. I have my favorites and if you're interested in that, I'll, uh, let me know and I'll make a separate video about kombuchas because I don't think there was kombucha I never tried. <laughs> uh just a random product was we were walking by some stand and it had sushi there and my friend asked and it turned out to be a vegan sushi made out of sun-dried tomatoes that was very realistic and it was made with something that i think it was it's a canadian brand maybe not it was not an american brand sticky quinoa they're trying to get on the market it tasted phenomenal i love sticky millet sticky rice i'm just i just like that sticky texture of things i'm not a chips salty person i'm a sweet puddingy or sticky rice more like water content in the food type of person so that was amazing it was uh, they, uh, they had made um sushi out of sticky uh quinoa i'll include a photo and um it was so good now uh, uh i uh, if you're looking for just something that tastes like a puffed uh corn type of cheerios type of snack but it's super super plain it's the puffed um thins from corn if you even get the lightly salted ones were amazing they also had puffed lotus seed also a, a nice uh, alternative um let's see I think I covered mostly all of the things. Um, oh, um, if uh, if you've never tried sprouted tofu, this is something I buy every week and I hardly ever talk about the things I buy because they're old news to me. I'm not that excited about it. All right, so this is my favorite tofu. It's sprouted tofu and it's the only tofu I buy. So I had to give them a shout out, Wildwood sprouted tofu. I buy the extra form and they don't have it here, but I got the soap, uh, silken. It's, it, I, I do pretty well on it. I avoid soy products, but sprouted tofu is, uh, sprouted soy tofu works for me pretty well. So you can get it, uh, the silken variety is at Whole Foods and all the other varieties are at Whole Foods. Otherwise Trader Joe's carries the form one only. Um, the, 
some of the companies that had um, chips were so slightly uh, uh, with so little oil that I would totally recommend them for the potato chips lovers and especially the beet chips again beets uh, or the sweet potato chips the parsnips just definitely give those a try if you're into potato chips uh, I covered the turmeric lattes uh, and the European chocolates or the hazelnut chocolates um, uh, do request uh, some things in your local store that that I've spoken about so that we are kind of starting to get the vegan products more and more into stores and also we're trying to bring uh, small companies uh, to Europe. I would say Rhythm 108, that company requested for a chocolate bar, if you're into chocolate bars of course, and the foodies patties uh, they're frozen also request those if you sometimes need kind of like a faster way to make really gourmet vegan food um it was based also on pumpkin seeds and everybody at that stand was so beautiful so something about the patties must be working and um i think this was my best of Expo West for this year. It was really exciting. I'm pretty tired. If I seem a little tired, it's because I'm very tired. I've been running on not enough hours of sleep. I'm running around at Expo West. Uh, we tasted... I tried not to... I definitely came home hungry. So I didn't overtaste things. But that was my goal because I don't want to get sick of tasting everything. Sadly, I should have tasted all the Miyoko's new cheeses, but that's okay. I only tasted one because I just didn't want to mix it. Maybe I had tried something before that, like a chocolate bar, that chocolate bar or something. Uh, but I tasted enough and I drank, uh, when I was walking around, I drank literally four liters of water or juice or kombucha, whatever, if there was a whole bottle of something that someone would, uh, would be handing out, I'll grab it and just drink it. Not sugar juice, but just something kind of like water or unsweetened uh, tea I definitely made sure to drink a lot so I felt good didn't I didn't over try food <laughs> unfortunately for that I need a little longer expo so that I can kind of try a little bit here a little bit there but I tried enough and I I'm kind of kind of happy to see that the trends are becoming healthier and he healthier each year and I'm uh, it's it's less Maybe I didn't stop on that many stands with that, but I didn't see that much isolated soy protein things. I just didn't see as much, um, uh, as many processed foods as other years. Now, the trends are definitely changing. Unfortunately, I did see a lot of cheese and uh, I had to spit out uh, some uh, chips because it was called naked and there was beet. It was beet chips and I just tried it and all of a sudden I read the label and it said um, cheddar so I turned out the ingredients and it was actual dairy in it so I had not swallowed it yet and I'm sure it, you know I swallowed a little bit or whatever and uh, I was a little traumatized for the first 15 minutes of the expo but I'm like why 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 would you make beet chips and put cheese on it what is the point then but anyways um maybe we can just request <laughs> less of that and it will be less of it in uh, coming years the funny thing we noticed is when we used to uh, when we go to a stand and there is something and they offer it to us and we say do you have vegan varieties or is it vegan they were all like damn it we have a vegan uh, line and we didn't bring it and everybody is asking about vegan so that was funny and a good thing uh, so I think we'll be seeing way more vegan products in the future they're veganizing um, one of the um, soy companies, the tofu companies, uh, I have to think about their name, but uh, they uh, have uh, um, different products. They are coming up with a line of, uh, they have a line of uh, wontons, veggie wontons, but they have egg in the wrapper. They say by the end of the year, they'll be vegan. So that's amazing because um, dumplings and, uh, uh, um, Dumplings and I forget uh, wontons I think yeah um, they're so good and it's nice to have vegan variety it's just easy to buy okay so another favorite of ours is the golden crowd basically turmeric sauerkraut right turmeric, black pepper. yes and vegan kimchi that's pretty pretty awesome it's amazing. It's the best sauerkraut I've had in my life. Really good. Yeah, same here, bro. All right, thank you. I'll tell my dad. No, please send him a picture. I will. 
Take it easy, brother. Safe travels. Um, I think that is it. I'm sure there is more, but uh, I think I covered a lot of it and I gave you ideas um, about what to try. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll, uh, I'll add other products that I didn't think about. The hazelnut milk to me is absolutely the most exciting thing because that's something I would buy um, weekly to be on my grocery list. Um, for my friend, Foodies was the total winner. For both of us, Rhythm 108 was a total winner. And uh, I think that's it. I actually have written everything down. All right. Um, I think it's a long video, but thanks for sticking. If you're here with me at the end, thanks for sticking with me. I love you guys. And I'm planning on a few other interesting videos to talk about on the nutrition aspect of things. So. Stay tuned for this, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notifications when I upload videos. I'm planning on certain new uh, content and hit the like button. I forget to say this every time, hit the like button, the share and uh, so forth. Comment below and I'll see you in my next video. Namaste.